Hey there! Today I would like to show you how to set up your first simulation using Trend Lizard. For those of you who are not familiar with this, Trend Lizard is a Rhino and Grasshopper plugin developed by TrendSolar for performing thermal and daylight simulations using Transis 18 as the engine for thermal simulations. After installing Trend Lizard on your computer, you can now start preparing the Rhino and Grasshopper templates for your first simulation. So let's jump right in by opening Rhino. Select meters as the unit in Rhino and set the absolute tolerance as 10 to the power of negative 8. So that's seven zeros in front of the decimal place. Now we recommend users to save this Rhino file as a template for future. So next time you're using Tran Lizard, you don't have to set the units all over again. Next, open Grasshopper and create a new document. Right on top in the toolbar, you can see Tran Lizard after it's been installed. Now, we have two predefined templates, Tran Lizard Lite and Tran Lizard Advanced. For this video, we're going to show you how to work with Tran Lizard Advanced templates. So drag and drop the Tran Lizard Advanced component onto the Grasshopper canvas and double click to enter the components. Inside, you can find the templates. Copy all the components and paste it onto the Grasshopper's main canvas. Now, here's an important note to keep in mind. When saving the Tran Lizard's Grasshopper definition, the name should not contain special characters or blank spaces. You can use underscores if necessary. You can now reload and recompute Grasshopper in order to get the definition ready. All right, now the definition is ready. Let's take a quick look at what Tran Lizard Advance has to offer. We'll go over each of the components in the Tran Lizard Advance template one by one. First off, on the top left corner is a project definition where you define basic information such as project's name, location to save the files on your computer, as well as different libraries for materials, schedules, and weather data. Right below it is the geometry shoebox where you can quickly generate ready-to-use geometry as you can see here. Next off, thermal model is for defining constructions, materials, and boundary conditions for different surfaces of your model. And right below it is a regime for defining gains, loads, systems, such as infiltration rates, etc., etc. The newest feature of Transist Daylight Control is also included in the Tran Lizard. And all the information on the building and system side are connected via zone and multi zone components. Now, it's not only having quicker simulation times, but Tran Lizard also offers users the ability to check simulation results in real time using online plotter. In certain cases, users are required to run daylight or thermal preprocessing. However, in this case, we can directly write the simulation files and run it. After clicking on Run Simulation, a new window will appear. That's what we call Online Plotter. The idea is to allow users to check their results as the simulation is running. You can pause the simulation at any time with a right click, and you can check, change the interface of Online Plotter. You can also hide or unhide different variables by left clicking on their labels, so you can check specific variables only. The online plotter also has different tabs for viewings, uh, in including temperature, specific power and electricity, humidity, radiation, thermal comfort, and additional user-defined outputs. By default, Tran Lizard will calculate these values for the whole year, meaning 8,760 hours. However, you can choose a specific time range for the calculation period. When the simulation is finished, you can start visualizing the geometry inputs 
as well as post-processing the results. We'll start off with geometry and daylight results. You can easily visualize your geometry input by our buoy geometry component. There you can simply choose what you want to visualize and the geometry is baked into Rhino in different layers depending on the surface's category and construction. Similarly, daylight results can also be baked into Rhino. You can choose different values from daylight factor to daylight autonomy. In addition, different types of predefined graphs and charts can be automatically generated by Tramlizer to visualize the results from thermal simulations. Using the Tramlizer plot graphs component, you can visualize different types of graphs of your results as you can see here. You can zoom in on a specific time period there are different visualizations, as you can see. Now moving on to the results file, by default, all the simulation and result files are automatically stored wherever you save your Chablizer definition. Users can easily trace back to the folder based on the variance names. For daylight, we have illuminance files. And for thermal, we have different text files which contain results of all the outputs. In addition, if you're using tram plot, you can always reopen your graphs by opening the HTML files. All right, now you know how to use Tram Lizard. Have fun simulating and see you next time where we'll discuss different possibilities for using our software.